Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, tutorial on 1.1.6 this is discuss problems that may arise as a part of data migration so first of all the first question that I'm going to ask is what is data or what is data migration so data a broad term it includes not only values stored Values stored in um, databases such as like name, photos, phone, sorry, not, not photos, name, phone, address, age, and so on, but also pictures, documents, and any other files that are important to many businesses. And small data, I, small data items like dates, they may be quite different in various countries, so they require conversion. Conversion before use in another country. So if that is the definition of data, what is the definition of data migration? As migration, as most people have heard, this is an economics term or maybe a, a geography term. Uh, migration is moving from one place to another. Emigration, immigration. But in computer science terms, data migration is copying, converting, or moving data from one system to another. See, as you can see, new, new, form, new software may require data in a different format rather than old software. New systems sometimes use new improved file format. For example, let's say PNG rather than the old GIF format. But there are lots of different problems, as that's the main syllabus statement problems that may arise as a part of data migrations. First of all, there might be corruption of data. The data is corrupted, therefore it's unusable. And finally, the cost. That might be very, very expensive. Furthermore, there's lots of other different uh, things that might contribute to the incompat incompatibility of the file format, such as data structure. Data structure is meant by the collection of data such as arrays, objects, list, files. These are data structure. New software might organize data into different structures than older software. Like let's say a 2D array, they might be used in an older Java program but this is replaced by a new SQL database table and a new system, that's data structure. Currency. So globalization has produced lots of new problems for multinational businesses. But not only are there dates uh, different between various countries, but the actual time and the time zones. So money is not only different in, different, uh, different in various units, but exchange rates also change daily. That's a problem of currency. And to fix this, we use validation rules or validation check. If you do this in IGCSE computer science, you would recognize this term as uh, lots, uh, lots of different types of validation rules like length, uh, presence check, range check, I don't know, character check, and all of these uh, good uh, a good validation check might reject a price of let's say 100 in euros but accept the price of 100 in rupees if as as of course they're not the same validation rules can detect obvious mistakes so therefore they prevent problems all right so the disadvantages or the let's say the problems we we let's recap them one more time Time consuming. This is on a um, general scale. General scale. Time consuming. And last of all, it's costly, as I just said uh, over there. Costly. So there are a few common issues encountered that have uh, encountered as you. Um, do um, data migration. For example, planning. Planning might not be as good as you hope to be. There are planning issues. Second of all, there might be a data glitch. 
and third of all, there might be inadequate testing. But the final point I would like to finish off today, similar to my introduction, is that the data has to be converted uh, before it is used in a new system. Just like um, the, uh, when, you're use, uh, when you're going to different countries, the money has to be converted into different currencies before they are used in different countries. Thank you for watching and hopefully this tutorial has helped you.